I am a Hearn Hunter, and you are a leaf driven by the wind. There was a voice. It said, Nothing's forgotten. Nothing is ever forgotten. Your precious leader is dead. Killed by the sheriff's men. What do you say to that? I think it's true. I think he's gone. I don't believe it. He wants us to die thinking that Robin's dead. is dead. For the sake of everything we've meant to each other, you must care. Because that way you'll keep alive all we've believed in. And I can't die then, can I? shall come to the forest there to meet with her and her to be his son and do his bidding. He said he was dead. Kill that man. Kill him. Kill, kill. Just as I'd begun to believe it was all over, it's not over. It'll never be over. Wait! Come back, lad! Come Who back. are you? Who are you? Hearn's son. You must lead them. Hearn's son is dead. Robin of Loxley is dead. Hearn's son lives again in you. No! It's finished! You were chosen. You called and I answered. His followers are safe. It's enough! You are the hooded man. Farewell, Hearn. You will return. You must.
Girl, would we, Gisborne? My lord. Riding through Sherwood. There are still outlaws in Sherwood. But no Robin Hood. No leader. Try convincing the people, Robert. The abbot's right, my lord. They refuse to believe he's dead. Now, if you'd brought the body back to Nottingham... Gisborne! It was unrecognizable. I wonder what happened to the others. To Scatlock, Scarlet, or whatever his name was. And that big fellow. Little John. That's right. Little John. And that filthy Saracen. They fled. They scattered. They should all have been killed. Yes, Hugo. They should have been. Shouldn't they, Gisborne? I'm not to blame. Did I say you were? You implied it. Oh. We are touchy today, aren't we? I'll track them down, my lord. However long it takes. And the man who rescued them. Ah. The hooded man. Of course you will, Gisborne. I have enormous faith in your ability. Ha! Who's this? My lord, I've come to escort you to the castle. Who are you, boy? I'm Huntingdon, Robert of Huntingdon. The Earl's my father. My lord, Sir Richard of Leaford and the Lady Marion. So that's Marion of Leaford. She should have been home. Then why wasn't she? The king pardoned her. And was she grateful? Why else would he pardon her? Lord, my daughter Marion. Oh. Yes, you like your mother. Very like. Only rather more headstrong, eh, Richard? I'm afraid so. However, we mustn't dwell on the past, must we? Some things are better forgotten. Hmm? Some things, my lord. I'm glad you made the journey, Richard. I've always valued your loyalty. Oh, my lord, I... No, I'm not flattering you. That isn't my nature. That is why... It galls me to have to ingratiate myself with a madman like Owen of Clun, merely because his castle is on the Welsh border. <laughs> Sheriff of Nottingham, Robert de Reno. Lord Abbot Hugo de Reno. Sir Guy of Gizmo. Welcome, my lord. You know Sir Richard of Leaford and his daughter Mary? We do, my lord. Very well indeed. My son, Robert. Sir Richard. My lady. We haven't met since the pardon, have we? No, Sheriff, we haven't. It surprised a great number of us, my lord. I'm sure it surprised you. But then the king is inclined to be somewhat unpredictable, isn't he, my lord? Is he? 
almost capricious, one might say. You might, behind his back. Yes. A lot of things were done behind his back, weren't they, Sir Richard? The king showed great mercy. Yes, to a traitor. That's enough. I say traitor, and she an outlaw wife to that wolf's head. Be silent. I will not have my guests abused. Nor would the king be pleased to hear your words, Sheriff. I fear you misunderstand me, my lord. I am delighted Sir Richard has Leeford and his lands again. I wept to hear of Marion's repentance. We both did, didn't we, Hugo? The most noble Lord Owen of Clun. in Sherwood. What's the matter? Don't you remember? Lady Wolf's head. Stay away from him. I intend to.
Will you apologize, my lord? What did you say? I think you heard me. You insolent puppy! I'll cut you into pieces. How many? This way you treat your guests. I'm all in a clan. I hear, boy, down on your knees. Robert, I command you. I command you, boy. I command you, boy. Insulted. Made him look like a fool. Came here in friendship. I shall beg your forgiveness. I swear it, my lord. Is she had done. She had done. Oh, by force, Hannah. Not a soldier of the king shall cross my lands. Have you taken leave of your senses? I was commanded by the king to win him over. So must I crawl to appease him? By St. Thomas, what possessed you? He insulted her. The girl's notorious. Insulted her. What have you done to me? Where's your respect, your sense of duty? My son, the heir to an earldom, and look at you. An empty-headed fool who thinks of nothing but himself. Now, tomorrow, when he is sober, you will beg for his forgiveness. Soon? I thought it best, my lord, an early start. You're always a tactful man, Richard. Uh, thank you, my lord. Last night, uh, there was nothing I could do. You understand me? Yes, of course, my lord. Curse Robert for his foolishness. However, that's my concern. Godspeed. Good luck, my lord. Have you humbled yourself before Lord Owen? No, father. Not yet. Then do it now, boy. He's asleep. Then wake him up, damn it! I want no more excuses. My apology. I'm not staying here a moment longer. Get out! I 
told Owen that the girl had gone and taken the Leaford Road. We'll rest here a while. So that's Marion of Leaford. She should have been hanged. Traitor! Now claw wife to that wolf's head! We mustn't dwell on the past, must we? Some things are better forgotten. I think I'm in love! I want some. I take it. John! Worth a bit, too. Is he? Aye. Lord will give us six pennies for his head. Six pennies? For a wolf's head? Aye. A wolf's head. Ours were worth much more. More bread round the neck. Are you certain they were Owen's men? You think I'm blind? Continue. I need some soldiers. Why come to us? Why not your friend, the Earl of Huntingdon? Because his hands are tied by the king. But so are mine. And for the same reason. The king wants Owen's friendship, doesn't he? If he learned that I'd given you soldiers, he'd have my head. How much will you pay me for them? 500 marks? That's extortion. And I'm afraid I can't help you. All right. I'll get it for you. <laughs> but I need the men at once. When will I have the money? The last day of this month. On what security? His lands and Leaford Grange. Well. Agreed.
A safeguard, nothing more. And to illustrate my goodwill, I'll let you have Gisborne for nothing. My lord, I... Don't argue, Gisborne. You could do with the exercise. Oh, and by the way, no shields for the men. I don't want Owen to know where the soldiers came from. Tomorrow, then. Tomorrow. My lord, I must protect... You're going, Gisborne. And so is a messenger to Owen of Clun. Immediately. Very good, brother. He must be warned against Sir Richard's foolishness. We'll be ambushed. Yes, you will. Massacred. No, you idiot. You run away, all of you. And leave Sir Richard alone. After all, he's made his will, hasn't he? Why won't you speak? You're to be my wife. My wife! Wife to Owen of the House of Clan. To bear my children. Give me sons. Perhaps they are like some trapped hind. Look at me!
that's where it's cheap at. Where's Richard of Liefert? My lord, he fled. place in the blood game tomorrow. Who's this? A savage wolf, my lord. He rescued Sir Richard from us. A killer, my lord. Swift. Deadly. Get up! What do they call you? You serve Liefer. I serve no man. <laughs> How many men have you killed? Again, Brent. I found my next champion. I return to Leaford, sick in both body and spirit, and I care little whether I live or die. Marion is lost to me, and nothing will be done to save her. Signed, Sir Richard of Leaford. How could he do such a thing? Why didn't he come to me? Would you have helped him? Not by giving him men at arms. What would you have given him? Pity? You enraged Owen of Clun, and this is his revenge. done to save her. I need your help. Why must I give it? Because I am Hearn's son. Are you? You told me he was dead. Denied your destiny. Deserted those who would have followed you. But Marion is in danger, and so you return. What must I do? The powers of light and darkness will lead you.
Morning, my lord. Welcome to Wickham. Not much of a place, as you can see. I've come from Hearn. Hearn is a spirit, my lord. And his son? His son. The hooded man. Is he a spirit? <laughs> now, see here, my lord. I'll share a joke with anyone, but all this talk of Hearn and hooded men. Why, it's beyond me, my lord, and that's the truth. Is it? A year ago. Do you remember? Scarlet was there. And little John next to him. Nazir was by the door. And Tuck was there. They told us you were dead. They'll kill my son, you said. You. The hooded man. Where are they now? Gone. They lost heart. Some say there was a quarrel. Only Tuck remains deep in Sherwood. Edward! Gisborne. Edward, don't work on! Get rid of him. Edward! Whose horse is this? We don't know, my lord. Reckon it through its rider. I men are looking for it. It's the mind of a nobleman. Must be. Nobleman with a longbow. Yes, my lord. I thought that out myself. Not a knight's weapon, is it, my lord? I've seen this horse before, Summer. Where? We'll solve that for you, my lord, when we find the owner. Then find him soon. And if you don't find him, bring me the horse. Good luck to you, Robert of Huntington. That life is over. Offshore with them. May Hearn protect us. May Hearn protect us. Hearn protect us. May Hearn protect us. those who have none, freedom to those in chains, justice to those who have been wronged. Find them, bring them together, lead them. Outside. Take your weapons. Two blades. The dagger for blocking, disarming, and a surprise. And the sword. Weapons up. Go for my cheek. I block and disarm. Pick it up. Now slowly. Cut here. I block and here. Block and here. Block. I go for my head. I swerve. I go for your back. Yeah. Remember, no rules. Right flank. Right cheek. Head. Cheek flank. Go for your right cheek. Head. Right flank. Flank. Cheek. Head. Cheek. Flank. Cheek. Head. Cheek. Flank.
You'll have to do better than that. Give me, my friend. I thought you were a thief after my fish. Give me a hand. Robin of Huntingdon? Robert, her son. I'm the Archbishop of Canterbury! Oh. Oh. No, listen! Marion, she's in danger. Now the sage, that's where little John went. I'm sure of it. And much went with him. But where the others are... Other Sage. And will you come with me, Brother Tuck? I've no option, have I? his face? No. He wore a hood. Was there anything else? No. They rode north. On the Hathersidge road? He was on a grey. Tuck was with him. It was Robin Hood, I tell you. A grey horse. Here. Keep your eyes and ears open, and there might be more silver pennies. So, who was the man with Tuck, Gisborne? You'll find this hard to believe, my lord. Very likely. There was a grey horse in Wickham yesterday. A horse of quality. The villagers were looking in Sherwood for its owner, believing he had been thrown. At least, that was their story. And this morning, I remembered where I'd seen the animal before. I never forget a horse. I'm sure you don't, Gisborne. To the kitchens. Well, it was on our visit to Huntingdon. The horse belonged to the Earl's son. Ah, but tell me this. Why should Robert of Huntingdon, heir to vast estates and several castles, concern himself with a bunch of outlaws, huh? Marion of Leaford. <laughs> Marion of Leaford? <laughs> right. 